Anastasia Chatska. I'm a fashion designer, pattern maker, and sewing educator. And I'm so happy you're here sewing along with me today. Today is all about the invisible zipper. The invisible zipper is just about in all of your dresses and skirts. And if you're like me, I love wearing dresses and skirts, so it's really important to be able to put in an invisible zipper and have it look invisible. And today, I'm gonna show you how to do it with the all-purpose zipper foot. So a few weeks ago, we went over how to do this with the invisible zipper foot, and today we're using the all-purpose zipper foot which every single sewing machine comes with. So you don't have to run out and buy a different foot. Your machine totally has this foot. Also, I'm gonna show you what the difference is between a regular zipper and an invisible zipper because you can't make a regular zipper look invisible and vice versa. So it's really important that you buy the proper zipper when you're at the store. Sometimes my students have trouble sewing their very first invisible zipper. So I'm gonna show you a way today that makes this super easy. We are gonna add an extra stitch in there, but it's gonna ensure that this zipper turns out perfect for you. And I'm also gonna show you the way that they're going to do it in a zipper factory like that. So follow along and I'm gonna show you how to sew beautiful invisible zippers today with that all-purpose zipper foot. So let's go over the two different types of zippers here. So we have the invisible zipper, which has no teeth on the front. And then if we look at the regular zipper, this one has the teeth on the front. And how do we know if it's the front or the back of the zipper? Well, you wanna look and see where the zipper pole is because the zipper pole is always on the right side of the zipper. Now, if we flip over the regular zipper and the invisible zipper, you'll notice that the invisible zipper has teeth on the back of it and the regular zipper has no teeth on the back of it. So if you're rifling through a bin of zippers and you don't know which one's which, keep these tips in mind to figure out which one's a regular and which one's an invisible. Before we start sewing it, let's just go over exactly what we're going to do. So I have my fabric right side up and I have my zipper right side up. And remember, right sides are always together when we sew. So what we need to do is unzip this zipper and first we're gonna do the left side of the zipper. So we're gonna flip that zipper over so that way the zipper tape is on the edge of the fabric where I have surged it. And then what we do is we take our zipper foot and we're going to click it into the left hand side and we're basically going to run the zipper foot down the side of the zipper. It sounds really simple, but it gets really complicated. So I'm gonna show you all kinds of tips and tricks to make sure your invisible zipper with your all-purpose zipper foot turns out beautifully. So let's head over to the sewing machine and sew it up. So I've got the left side of my fabric and the left side of my zipper with that zipper tape lined up at the edge of the fabric. And you want the top of the zipper tape to be with the top of your project. So the first thing we're gonna do is just sew down the center of the zipper tape. So I have not moved my needle position right now. It is just at center. So we are just gonna sew this zipper down. I've also got my foot on the left-hand side as well. So everything is to the left right now. So your goal right now is just to line up the zipper tape with the edge of your fabric. Don't need to back stitch, you just need to cut. So now you should have a stitch holding your zipper in place to your fabric. And now what we're gonna do is go over it again, moving our needle position over, and we're gonna roll open these zipper teeth here and stitch right in that groove in there. So now I'm going to move my needle position all the way over to the left, and now I'm going to back stitch at the very top and at the very end. So when I do this next step, even though we have a zipper foot on, I really like to take these teeth and roll them out to the left to make sure I'm getting a nice close stitch in that little groove. Sew as far as you can. You're only gonna be able to sew to about a half inch before the zipper pull. Back stitch and cut. So now if we take a look at this, you can see how the stitch is in this groove right here. 
If you're enjoying this video so far on how to put in an invisible zipper with that all-purpose zipper foot, make sure you subscribe to Sew so Anastasia and hit that notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you are already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. Now let's get back to putting in that invisible zipper. Now we're gonna do the other side. So we need to move the foot over to the right-hand side and then we're gonna move our needle position over to the right-hand side. So let's get our fabric over here and now we are going to unzip the zipper and remember we've got to flip it over so that way the twill tape is right on the edge of the fabric. I'm not gonna do the basting stitch just because you don't have to um, and this way you can see how you can do it in just one stitch and not two. So now that we have everything over to the right hand side we are going to be sewing as close as we can to the teeth for this stitch because we're not doing the basting stitch. So make sure you're back stitching. And now you're gonna hold the zipper tape down and flip open the teeth all at the same time. When you get to that zipper pull, back stitch and cut. So your zipper should look something like this at this point. And now what we're gonna do is zip it up and check out how invisible it is. You cannot see the zipper right here. All you see is the pole at the top, but we still have a hole at the bottom of our project and we need to sew this up. So what we're gonna do is fold it right sides together. And now we're just gonna continue sewing up this seam here. And when we do this, we wanna make sure that we're starting where we left off with the stitches. And I like to start a half inch up to ensure that there's no hole at the bottom of my zipper. And we're gonna leave the zipper foot on the right-hand side with the needle to the right-hand side. So that way it can get really close to it and ensure that we're not gonna have a gap or an opening at the bottom of our zipper. So you're still using the multi-purpose zipper foot for this step. Now when we're sewing the bottom of the fabric up next to the zipper, we wanna make sure that the zipper tail is out of the way. You don't want it tucked in that seam, otherwise you're gonna see it on the outside of your garment. So let's put down our zipper foot, hold all of our fabric and our zipper out of the way, make sure you backstitch, and let's continue all the way down our project. Back stitch at the end and cut. So now you should have a nice stitch there holding the bottom of your project together. And you can see where we started that stitch compared to where our stitches in the zipper. We also have one step left. So your zipper tails are flappy down here. What we wanna do is sew them to the seam allowance. Make sure you're not sewing through all the layers. You don't wanna see a stitch on the outside of your project. So what we're gonna do is take our project and make sure that we have our zipper tape right over the seam allowance and the seam allowance only. And we are gonna sew down this bottom inch of the zipper tail to the seam allowance and make sure you're back stitching at the beginning and the end. So this is gonna make your zipper stronger when you're pulling up on it from the bottom. Now we're just gonna flip it around and we're gonna sew the other side to the seam allowance as well. And now we are done with the zipper. So let's take a look at it. Look at how beautiful our invisible zipper is. You can't even tell it's there unless you see that zipper pull. So if we unzip it, you can see that we have our teeth hiding inside there. And then we have a nice smooth bottom here. So it's so important that you don't have any bubbles here at the bottom of your invisible zipper. And this one does not, which means it's a great invisible zipper. And the way we get no bubbles here is by making sure that when we sew up that bottom seam, that that stitch is really close to the stitch that's already there. So let's take a look at the back of the invisible zipper and you can see the side where we did that stitch first and then sewed close to the teeth. And then on this side, we did not do that stitch first. We just went for it and sewed close to the teeth. And then you can see down here where we sewed down the zipper tails just to the seam allowance. So we did not sew those to the front of the project. They are just through the seam allowance down here. 
And that, my friends, is how we do a beautiful invisible zipper. Thanks so much for watching So Anastasia today. I hope you had fun putting an invisible zipper in with that all-purpose zipper foot. And I hope you learned a few things. I'd love to know what you learned during this video, so leave it down below in the comments. Also, if you have any tips or tricks for sewing an invisible zipper, I would love to hear those as well. So make sure you leave those down in the comments below too. If you're not already a subscriber to Sewing Anastasia, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when all the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to add me on Instagram and Facebook and Twitter and TikTok and all those social media websites so that way we can stay connected and creative together. And don't forget, I now teach sewing classes in my design studio here in Chicago, Illinois. So you can take those in person or virtually. So check those out at SewingAnastasia.com. Also, we now have Sewing Anastasia merch, so check out those little icons down below of those sewing shirts because that's Sewing Anastasia merch. Thanks so much for watching today. Bye!